to Sarah Veterans Home has been a part of Dunlin history for 105 years, supporting and caring for men and women who have served New Zealand both at home and overseas. Our philosophy is to promote the home right lifestyle in a supportive environment, encouraging independence in a safe, comfortable way. Such a sweet girl. What are you dreaming about? This music. Power of Dreams by Honda. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489 2274. Here at Age Concern Otago, we offer a range of services to support Otago seniors to age well with dignity and independence. We provide social work support, visiting service, health promotion and social activities. Check out what we have on offer at ageconcernotago.com. Knox Podiatry is your local foot and lower limb specialist. With clinics across Otago, we can diagnose and treat all conditions, whether it's heel pain, sore feet, fungal, thickened or ingrown nails to corns and callus. We're also able to manufacture our own orthotics from our Mosgill clinic. If your feet need some love, call us now. Why wait for seed to germinate? Why not do it the smart way? For instant results, call Ready Lawn today or for more information, go to readylawn.co.nz. Every day the team at Gillian supports grieving families at their time of need, from answering your questions to organising a farewell that reflects the wishes of your loved one. We can help. Call Gillian's today. Sarah Veterans Home has been a part of Dunlin history for 105 years, supporting and caring for men and women who have served New Zealand both at home and overseas. Our philosophy is to promote the home right lifestyle in a supportive environment, encouraging independence in a safe, comfortable way. Such a sweet girl. dreaming about. This music. The Power of Dreams by Honda. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489-2274. Here at Age Concern Otago, we offer a range of services to support Otago seniors to age well with dignity and independence. We provide social work support, visiting service, health promotion and social activities. Check out what we have on offer at ageconcernotago.com. 
Knox Podiatry is your local foot and lower limb specialist. With clinics across Otago, we can diagnose and treat all conditions, whether it's heel pain, sore feet, fungal, thickened or ingrown nails to corns and callus. We're also able to manufacture our own orthotics from our Mosgill clinic. If your feet need some love, call us now. Why wait for seed to germinate? Why not do it the smart way? For instant results, call Ready Lawn today or for more information, go to readylawn.co.nz. Every day the team at Gillian supports grieving families at their time of need, from answering your questions to organising a farewell that reflects the wishes of your loved one. We can help. Call Gillian's today. Sarah Veterans Home has been a part of Dunedin history for 105 years, supporting and caring for men and women who have served New Zealand both at home and overseas. Our philosophy is to promote a home-like lifestyle in a supportive environment, encouraging independence in a safe, comfortable way. Such a sweet girl. dreaming about this music the power of dreams by Honda when it's time to say goodbye to your pet heaven sent pet cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience call heaven sent pet cremations today for their care and guidance phone 489-2274 here at Age Concern Otago, we offer a range of services to support Otago seniors to age well with dignity and independence. We provide social work support, visiting service, health promotion and social activities. Check out what we have on offer at ageconcernotago.com. Knox Podiatry is your local foot and lower limb specialist. With clinics across Otago, we can diagnose and treat all conditions, whether it's heel pain, sore feet, fungal, thickened or ingrown nails to corns and callus. We're also able to manufacture our own orthotics from our Mosgill clinic. If your feet need some love, call us now. Why wait for seed to germinate? Why not do it the smart way? For instant results, call Ready Lawn today or for more information, go to readylawn.co.nz. Every day the team at Gillian supports grieving families at their time of need, from answering your questions to organising a farewell that reflects the wishes of your loved one. We can help. Call Gillian's today.
And a very good morning and welcome to this round 10, the penultimate round of Saturday morning Winter Club and this morning we're at the Fairfield Bowling Club for the Section 1 men's singles match. It's between the host club's Wayne Hewitt and the visiting club Andy Bay is Andrew Smale. We're just on the first end at the moment with Wayne Hewitt holding a shot playing towards the main road as Andrew Smell playing his forehand side he's just snuck in there and a very good reply to claim the shot back and Andrew's choice of bowls is a Aero Optimus the yellow coloured bowls and Wayne Hewitt is using Tiger 2's he plays the backhand and he'd be short across the centre line. So the last bowl first end for Andrew Smell and conditions well they're absolutely perfect. Not a not a breath of wind. And I believe the forecast down the track for the afternoon is not that flash, but at least this morning beautiful conditions. As Andrew places backhand, last bowl of first end, first to 25 of course, no ends, they don't come into it, and probably Andrew with just the one shot to start the match. The marker this morning is uh, Les Miller, we thank Les for his time this morning. Across the other ranks we have the Andersons Bay Pier and Fours. Across Newell and Regan Larkin and the Piers for Fairfield. See John Latimer and Robbie Thompson there. So Andrew Smale, first away on his backhand side, playing towards the car park. Looks to be on a fairly good line and a very good opening ball. And I think from memory, maybe two seasons ago, these two gentlemen played a cracking game. I think it may have been about 25 24 in the end to Wayne. Same venue. <laughs> Wayne's uh, had a pretty good season to date. He was uh, unbeaten in the Inter Club Sevens and the singles right through, which is an excellent effort. Good ball here from Andrew Smale. So Wayne just switched to his back at the end. He's Right round the back, so no problem with the rink conditions. It's in fantastic order. Third ball from Wayne. He's Staying with 
back hand side. Looking really to try and get in that inside yellow velvet as he's shunted that through. I'm not sure if it's a two or just a one at the moment. Very good looking bowl here from Andrew Smiley. Probably set up a bit of a target there from Wayne if he shot that kitty through. He's got a couple of waiting bowls and in fact he's having a run on his back end. I think he's wide from it. Well, he's going to get it. No, he's uh, flicked that through, but um, it'd be two shots to um, two shots to Andy Bay. Pretty early on in the other two disciplines, it's. Uh, Andy Bay leading, uh, we got a three on the first end by the look. And a two to Fairfield on the first end on the fours. So Andrew first off with his four hand as it breaks now towards the head and pretty good opening ball. Just short, they had a very good line, Wayne. from Andrew, just finishes Jack level. So a chance now for Wayne pace that forehand to be just looking inside that last wing bowl of Andrew Smale looks to be on a pretty good track as he gonna pick up that oh he's just gone on by. Just the one by the look to Andy Bay.
last ball from Andrew Smale. He's just going to pull up short. Can't really tell if that's on the count. Certainly has one. Wayne's going to come down and have a look at the state of play. There's still a chance on his forehand side there. If he's got a waiting back ball, if he can pick up that kitty. Across the ranks there, I see the lads from Port Chalmers up here playing the Fairfield section three, I think that is. So he's Wayne is playing that. Forehand side, which I probably think he's good enough to pick that kitty up. Looks to be narrow. Is he going to get in off that? He may. Well, he's got that inside Nick from that yellow Andy Bay bowl, and he's picked up the shot. So just the one to Wayne, it's 3-1 uh, as they race to So backhand side from Wayne Hewitt. Looks to be drifting under the head quite nicely. Smell following him down on the back inside. He's short. Andrew Smale on his backhand side. I'm sure he's got the shot there. They're pretty much far apart, but it's gone. Around. In fact, that's right, must be right on the ditch edge. So plenty of room. It's Chance for a Andrew looks better weighted this time. In fact, that is the shot. 
Playing for this last ball. He, he will stay on that back end if he can. That kid, he's probably right the money because he's got all the back bowls as he starts to arrive now. He's, I think he's going to be short. Okay. Looks to the heavens. It's a chance now for Andrew. Possibly have two there, it's just difficult to tell with it. Certainly has the one shot. He's changing his hand. And have all this forehand side. Starts to break now towards the head. He's got the range. He's got an excellent bowl here. I think that would be another shot. Maybe it's There's middle of the market, has a look. So in fact there's three shots to well if taken two half it looks like three to uh, Andrew Smell. So he's out to a six one lead as I look to the peers Andy Bay out to a eight zip lead after three ends in the in their match. So Wayne just uh, seems to be just struggling a bit early, early on in this match. Andrew playing his forehand side. It's pretty well played. He was going to pick up that kitty. Oh, just going oh, by him. It's very close. This time from Wayne Hewitt, he's got a touch of very good correction. You're not far off in you, mate. Not far at all. So staying on that. Forehand side, he's a chance to pick up that kitty and trail it back to his waiting bowl. He's played a pretty good bowl. He just sat on that shot bowl of Fairfield. from Wayne, another touch. Oh, but he's... Has he given that shot away? It's hard to tell from where I am. It's
So Andrew Smiley's had a look at the head. Just pondering which hand he probably stay with that forehand side. Pretty close for the shot, but the chance of drawing that looks pretty narrow across the centre line and well short. So he may be looking to tip his bowl in to try and get the shot if he hasn't already got it. So So last ball from Wayne Hewitt, he's had a look at the hit, he's sticking with that forehand side, he has a chance of, he's pretty wide, it's going to come back from there, no it's not. So we'll get an idea, Wayne has the map, does he have the... Shot. Yes, she does in fact have the half a shot, so it's uh, six to two now. To Andy Bay. Going to change the forehand now going towards the car park. Wayne, he's tried the backhand going this way. The last in this looks like a pretty good track. Andrews across that centre line and well short. to the players match just as Andrew Smiles about to deliver his second ball and Andy Bay already shot out to 11 nil lead already after four ends Andrew's pretty well down here difficult to see who's got the shot from Wayne Hewitt It'll be the shot itself he may have a couple there
Oh, he's across as well. Oh, sure. Didn't do any harm there, so three. At the moment, not so flash. Balls from Andy Bayers. Wayne delivers his last and the chance for a, a bonus now as he. Well, he's gone pretty wide there, so that's not going to count at all, I wouldn't say. And his last ball for him. Henry Smile, he has a chance. Well, he could end up with a dragging that kitty across to his waiting balls, but it looks like he's. Well, he's pretty well tracked here. Yeah, he's played this pretty well for the shot. I'd imagine had plenty of room there. So the last part, in fact, was the shot. So seven to two. He leads out. All square in the fours match to a piece and and uh, Andy Bay put a bit of daylight on the, on the pairs match eleven to nil. Pretty good track, just as weight. First ball of the scene. Just weighing with his weight as well as it started drifting. Yeah. Better waited this time from Andrew Smale. And that's Certainly the shot is it's just Wayne's weight with his first ball. He looks better weighted, better pointed this time. Still be the one down. from Andrew Smell. There's the shot, so Wayne's <laughs> waiting this time, but he's taking his green. He's still finding himself one down. Yeah. 
So he's just asked Liz middle of the marker and he's one down playing his final ball. I think he's probably looking to just tip that short ball with his in for a shot or in fact he can draw it. Oh well he's pushed it both four on flat, but I still think it's Andy Bay's. Had the good weight for that shot. So the one shot to Andrew Smale. takes me to eight to two. Fairfield finally on the board in the Piers match. Eleven one, and their fours are up four to two after four ends. Very good opening bowl. Here yeah, from Manly Bay. So Wayne's gone back to his backhand. He's played the forehand this way last end. He's not settled yet on a on a hand. Another good bowl from Andrew. Just a chance now for Wayne that's opened up and a fraction. He's got a pretty good weight and played a very good ball. Should be the shot looking from here, it's just the angles. This is on a pretty good track too from Andrew. I suspect that is the shot. So he's got a long bowl. And amongst those three on the bowl, so he'd be plenty of room there to draw or set that shot. But he looks to be on a pretty good track. Oh, and he's just Gone through the back, but hanging there for another, for a shot if he can get a crack at it. This Andrew plays his last. Bowley's staying on that backhand to be looking just to possibly grab that kitty and take it away. But he's around the back, which is pretty handy there in case of. So he could make three of those, Wayne, if, he, if he's played this. He looks to be drifting and now he's going to get the shot out of it. Oh, excellent head. Um, I think it... So one to Anderson's Bay and 
one of the better heads of the match. Wayne has his opportunity there. Just not on this occasion. So nine to two now to Andrew Smale. So first ball on the, he's played this hand pretty well, Andrew Smale, and he's opened up with another excellent ball. So Wayne will stay on his back end. It looks to be narrow and we'll way across. Probably going to. He's just having a look now, contemplating. I think he may change to the his backhand, yeah, because that ball's just on his eye. I think so. He has changed to the backhand side. short as well so it's, might be the first time he's played that and but Wayne will be looking to draw this now it looks pretty well weighted uh, he might even have grabbed the kit I know he's just short but he certainly has the shot Effort here from Andrew Smale as he swallowed that Gary Owens. Excellent. Excellent bowl. So now's the chance for Wayne to set that bowl and stay there for the shot. She's certainly got the weight. She plays it. She's just going to sneak. Well, he's gone through that gap. So. Anderson's base. So. Last ball, a chance to draw another. Looks pretty well down. As is green, he looks to play this. Pretty well. Don't know if it's another shot. There's still a chance for Wayne. Just the right green and the weight, and he can pick this up for the shot. Is he going on by? Looks to be coming in now. Is he just going to sneak on by? So. Certainly one, and uh, I'm sure Les will let me know. Just the one, so it was just the one to Andrew Smale. So he hits double figures, he goes out to 10 to 2.
So backhand, opener for Andrew Smale. Just, just on a good track, just as wait. Backhand side from Wayne looks pretty well weighted there as he starts now breaking towards the head. That's a pretty good opening goal. Very good reply too from Andrew Smales. Jack Hyde. He just just asking how far off the jack he is. It's a signal from the marker. This pretty well, Wayne's. Oh no, he's hit that short ball. Only Bay just needed to be around that. He had good weight. from Andrew Smale here. This will be the shot itself, I think. Although that short bowl off Wayne's just hard to tell the angles. The He's played this pretty well. And he gets a flick off his own short bowl, oh, but it runs on through, so it may not be in the... Just one down. Yep. So... So it does in fact the shot to Andy Bay, the angles are pretty deceiving. So be looking to draw another. Looks pretty well down. He's pretty well pointed. He sits on that, which was the shot. So it may be one on one out. Chance for Wayne now. And promote that short bowl. He can. Draw it neat. He's certainly got good weight as it starts now to break towards the head. Is he going to. Oh, he's. Well, he could have a shot there. May have changed things. He pushed that anti bay pole back. So, in fact, he did so. One to uh, one to uh, Wayne Hewitt, so it's ten to three it is now. There's a look across the board, twelve three now on the peers to Andy Bay. Pretty tight in that fours match, it'll be a long way off here, just the odd shot four to three to Fairfield.
forehand side from Wang looks a pretty good opening bowl. Excellent effort. It's going to fall on. Not quite a touch, but an excellent opener. Good bowl here from Wayne. Give some two shots. He's on a pretty good line. He's going to set that shot ball. Oh, he's pushed that out and sat there for the shot. Great opening. Second ball. And a toucher as well. So Wayne still has a chance here. That he could set that ball through. And he has two waiting balls. He could add to the tell you but he's, he's starting to break now towards the end just not enough already. Pretty good effort here from Andrew. Oh, I don't know if it's just another shot or whether it's just the one. So it's Wayne with his last bowl. He, Jeff, he could pick that kitty up. He's having a run out. He's trying to shunt those two anti bone bowls out. He's on a pretty good track here, is he? Oh. Going through the gate and into the ditch, so... I don't know if Andrew will be trying too hard. He won't want to disrupt that hand. He's certainly got one. Has he got two? Not sure. But he may look to just draw around and sit on that fair field wall. He's gone away through. So. We'll get an indication at the moment. Is Les Miller of the Marker has a good look. So they've taken a shot out. Is it one or two? Good indication, surely. So it was two shots to Andrew Smell. So 12 to 3.
So Wayne Hewitt will be looking to draw this first up, put the pressure on Andrew, and he's done this pretty well. He'll be a touch of here as well, I'd suggest. And does indeed. Better this time from Andrew Smell, that's a pretty good correction. So Andrew changing to the forehand side. He'll be looking to get one around there if he can, but I think he's, he's narrow. And, oh, he's not too badly played, oh, he just a uh, bit of green. He may have been got the shot he wanted out of that, but it's shot certainly on. Oh, Wayne only to possibly get through that gap. Get a covering ball on there. Oh, and he's pushed the anti bay ball through. Don't think it's a shot. But chances are, if he plays us well, he could end up with a couple. Just grass, it's just going on by, but yeah, but a danger time now for you know, although he has the shot. If he's looking to, oh no, he's staying wide, it's to come back from there, so. One to Wayne. So 12 shots to four. As I look across the board, it's 12 4, and they pairs to Andy Bay, and 5 3 to Fairfield in the fours. Excellent opening ball from Wayne. That's the way to start. Pressure on his opponent. Pretty good reply here from Andrew. He's just going to pull up short.
He just started to turn the his weight. Pretty good guide there for Andrew now. He's just sneaking inside his front opening volleys and with a pretty good shot picking it up. He's not badly played here, starts to turn now, starts to turn. Oh, that's a great ball. Excellent effort. And some chalk as well, or the spray as they use. Wayne has a chance. He can, if he plays it well, he can pick that kitty up clean off the bowl. He's got good weight. Starts to beat now towards the head. No, no, he's disappointed that it rolls in, but it's fallen back, so the shot to the shot to Andy Bay. It's, may just need a put a cover around the back there. That the kitty squirts out his. Staying with that same hand. I just as wait. So both wandering down for a look to see the state of play. I still think the shot's there for Wayne if he can play that backhand and So having surveyed the scene, I'm pretty sure he might look to even to chip that shot bowl off. But the kitty would probably go out to the side, but he's, he's playing on his forehand with weight. I think that's his idea is to squirt that shot bowl out. He's on pretty good track here. He's gonna get he's got his own. Oh, how unlucky was that? So it stays with one. Idea was right. It was certainly in the area for the for a result, but now it's I don't know if Andrew can add to this. He might be just a bit wary of shifting that kitty, but he's staying on his forehand. He may look just a drift in there for another shot. Certainly well weighted. You don't want to squirt that kitty, but he's paid it very well. Is it time for a, is it as another shot or is it just the one? Here it looks uh, too hard to judge. We've taken one out. Measuring for the second shot. So it was just the one to Andrew Smale. So he gets to the devil's number. 13 to 4. 12 5 to Andy Bay and the Piers. 6 3 to Fairfield and the Fours.
excellent opener from Andrew Smale. well weighted here is yeah that'll be the shot itself excellent reply So this could be Wayne's chance to pick up more than just the one he would like to, just to bring himself back into the game. He's playing every not a very good ball here. Still plenty of room for Andy Bay to draw the shot. It's pretty well down, Andrew's just not working at the time, so it's a chance now for Rainy is to. Just add to a storeroom on that backhand for Andrew to draw in there. Wide open, really. His last ball, he wanting to make this count. He's on a pretty good line here. He's got the weight. Yes, he has. Oh, is he going to go through that hole? Oh, he's gone through that gap. So here's Wayne's chance to pick up a bonus. He looks on a pretty good track here. Is he going to stop in time he needs to sit on his own or he's gonna he's gonna get that hole as well so is it two or is it three So it was just just the one, so unfortunately for Wayne, but thirteen to five. So full hand side for Wayne opener seeing a pretty good opener. A 
an excellent reply too from Andrew Smale. Great reply. from Wayne or was he just going to pull oh gee with just his weight he was on an excellent track Very good ball from Anderson's Bay. Starting to develop into a pretty good head. Wayne just needs to get around that front ball. He sneaks all oh, just his weight. He had the running. his hand there. I thought he'd played two pretty good bowls on his forehand but he's probably blocked that hand up now and I thought yeah Wayne's changing to his backhand there's a chance there to pick that kitty up and take it across to his oh, I don't know if he's got the weight it's drifting now no he hasn't got the weight Gee, that was a chance. So we just find out who's got what. As he asked the marker. So, so he couldn't fact be one down. just as green so in fact that stays as the favor uh, the marker favoured the Fairfield bowl and well, I think gonna have a measure so they just have a measure. So it is the one to Wayne. Thirteen to six. So that ball from Wayne, he's back 
and the sides finish as well behind the kitty. Pretty well pointed here from Andrew. That's excellent. So one shot to Andrew Smale is pretty well down again. Just drifts on by. A good reply here from Wayne. That will, oh, well, I won't say it's a shot because it's pretty difficult to tell. It looks like a yellow bowl, but Pretty good track houses wait. He's drifting now towards the head. Yeah, that'll be the shot itself. Oh, although it took a straightener there. Gee, it almost was heading away from the kitty. Just got that gap. You played this pretty well. You're going to get a toucher out of it. Oh, well, no, it's not, but it's a shot in itself. It could be, could be more than the one. We've taken the one out, we've taken two out. So is it a measure for three or is he happy with two? Two shots it is. So he goes out to a 15 to 6 lead now. Good opening ball from Andrew. He's pretty well played here. Wayne, has he got the weight or is he just, no, he's just going to be shy?
so just a, on his backhand, he's got a little feather there, Andrew, and it's given him a couple of shots. Plenty of room there for Wayne to draw a shot. Looks to be narrow though and short. Just as Wayne. So here's an opportunity now for Wayne. He's just uh, just a touch of green here. The good way. Don't know. I think he's across the face again. He's he, three knots and he shakes his head. That's uh, he finds himself two down here at the moment. And Andrew with his last ball. Tons of room in here to draw. Looks to be well played if he runs us out. This will be another counter. And so the pressure really narrows on Wayne. He's got a chance here if he's. Was he narrow? Was he going to get around that? Was he going to cut it down? In fact, no, he's not. Oh, so three, three same bowls. And I, I think there's probably three down there. It is in fact three. So it's 18 to six now to Andy Bay, and it's starting to get away from Fairfield a bit here, unless he can pick up. Couple of big numbers. So he won't be happy with that one, uh, Andrew. The way he's been playing this hand, his opening bowls have usually been right there. It's a chance now for Wayne. He's gone pretty wide. It's starting to drift him, but not like he could end up in the ditch here unless he catches it on the line. And he has gone in the ditch. Yeah, through the gap there for Wayne on that occasion. He, it's just as he just can't seem to get that weight going down on that backhand.
it seems to be running on on that backhand and it gets down to that patch there. It's hard to... Gee, we know who had the shot there. It looks like Wayne's, but pretty far apart. Looks better weighted this time. How's his track? He needs to pick that up and take it over to his other... Oh, he's way through there too as well. Disappointed with that. So just a bit of convivial chat between the two players and trying to work out what's happening. So he looks to be on a pretty good track, Andrew. He starts to pick up speed now as he gets there. That'll be the, well, hard to tell. Hard to tell he's got the shot. That was his, for, his chance for Wayne. If he could pick up this kitty, there's a chance of three shots here. Shot. It could be more than one. It certainly has the shot. Just his weight, I think, was pretty much on that time. He's certainly got the mat. Is it one? I probably think there's more than one, though. And we're just having a look now, both sides. Are they going to have a measure? Which is probably the right thing to do given that it's just the shadows too of the bowls I guess on this okay so Wayne's picked up two and you'd be happy with that Gets them to uh, 18 to 8. As I look across the board, the Piers, Fairfield Piers, uh, sorry, Anderson Bay League, and the Piers 13 to 8. And it's still pretty close in that fours, 6 5 to Fairfield. So Wayne will persevere with his forehand. Pretty good opening ball here from Wayne. Is he going to get some chalk? He's just shy, but a very good opener. He'd be happy with that. from Andrew just a tad short but a pretty good opening bowl so a chance now for Wayne he stay with the forehand or is he he'll stay with that forehand side he just needs to get around the back there I think and that'll try and pick up at least a couple or three another good effort from Wayne that'll be another shot Another good reply from Andrew. So that was the shot bowl. So that was a great bowl from Andrew Smale. And just before she 
heads off home, our brilliant son. Welcome, Dot Mark, President of Bowls Dunedin. How are you this morning? Yes, I'm well, thank you very much. I you see you're an umpire at the Nationals. How did that go down? It was fabulous. Yeah, great eight days up there. Went very well, well organised, well run. Yeah, it was and a pleasure. Oh, great. And uh, the um, yes, in the mixed pairs, you had a look at that with Julie Alexander. She done yes. very well. In the Julie and Bob played very well, very well. To get to the round of 16 was, was very good. There was 246 entries in the mixed pairs, so to get to the round of 16 was a great achievement. So you, en- you enjoy the umpiring with the, the battens in the air and, and, the, and the beautiful conditions. I don't think they had a bad day right through. No, the weather was perfect, and yes, lollipop lady isn't my favourite thing to do, but uh, I did, I did uh, that for the men's fours and the women's fours in the finals on both of those. So you didn't have a nickname, lollipop lady or anything like that? I did. They were introducing me as Drop the Lollipop Lady, so... Mm. So how are the, the bowls generally in the, in the weekends and the competition locally? Is going all right? It's going very well. Yes, yes, the teams are doing. The greens here are very good, so they're very lucky. Um, the greens up there were good as well, but we're still very fortunate with the green keepers that we have down here. Um, this is a penultimate round of uh, Saturday, so the, the guys will be looking out of the champion champion events. Yes, champion of champions start tomorrow with the peers, men's and ladies' peers, tomorrow at Wakari and uh, St Clair. And who's headquarters? Uh, Wakari. Mm. Oh, great, so that's, that's the men and the ladies? Yes, yeah, so ladies um, tomorrow should get through, but if it doesn't, uh, post-section will be at Wakari as well, yes. All right, thanks very much for your time, Dot, and you've um, been sitting and enjoying magnificent weather, isn't it? It's just a bit like the North Island. Very much so, yeah. Thanks for your time. Thanks. So Wayne's, well, he's shot by the He might have been, he, he could be one down, uh, but... Um, just hard to tell at this juncture. So it gives an idea of how Andrew's placed here. Can't really see where the kitty is, but he may not have the shot and he may be looking to turn that ball that's standing up. But he's across the face so he's pretty tight. So in fact, Andy Bay have got the shot, and it's just the one. Andrew Smell moves closer to the 25. It's now 19 to 8. Six all now on the fours after 10 ends. 16 8 to Andy Bay and the Piers. After 13 ends. Good opening ball from Andrew Smale. He's going to get some cho- uh, some uh, spray. Keep calling it the chalk on is in fact the spray. So excellent opener.
So, the second of the balls from Andrew as he starts now to drift in, he might get a chip off that, push it back, so that'll be another shot early days. Of it. I would like to get inside or just round that shot bowl. There's plenty of room. There's a gap between the shot bowl and the kitty, and he's played that pretty well. It's just drifting on by. Just going to be short. Don't think it's another shot. Wayne's now changing his hand. He'd be looking for that kitty. I know there's never the, probably the perfect shot, but if he could pick that kitty up, and looks to be drifting in nicely now towards the head as he draw that. Probably has, I can't really tell. It's Andrew certainly has a glass, so he may fancy sitting on that, resting that bowl out of it. In fact, is the shot and staying there. He certainly play with the. He hasn't got the weight. He's certainly right there. So the chance now for Wayne, if he could sit that yellow bowl of Andy Bays out and stay there, he'd be in the money here, and he's going to get a flick off that and through that. Well, he's probably. <laughs> As he's Pretty good reply from Andrew. Just sneaks around that first bowl of Wayne's, given the shot. Pretty well played here, too. Wayne, is he going to have to wait to get around that? I think. Probably has or it's uh, looking from behind, it's hard to tell. Andrews changes wind down on the back end now. He's going to be short. Man. I'd be happy with that. It's probably his worst bowl of the morning. Up or 
So uh, a few people actually have the shot, so that's Wayne has just asked to question that. So Wayne has a shot to be looking for a bonus. Last ball from Anderson's Bay. One down. And we'll stay one down because that's a shocker. So they're looking closer here. They could be... Smells just measuring now. So just the one shot to Wayne, so he gets to double figures. It's nineteen to ten. So first ball from Wayne Hewitt, that's a pretty good opening, excellent opening ball. So 19-10 to Andy Bay. Has a pretty good reply. Pretty well down here again. 
again. Oh, yeah. Just on three sets out, so we give him a couple. to get a set on something otherwise well, it'll lead to that stop them probably going into the ditch I'd imagine with that weight. Possibly a couple here. Well weighted here too, Andrew Smell. Is he going to get the average? Going to draw the shot? Yeah, he'll sit on that. Yeah, I don't know if it's a shot, Mace. So Tfield holding one. to turn out a sit on he's gone through that gap so Andrew just wandering down here to have a look I think if he plays that same shot again he could sit on that shot bowl probably sit there for a may need to just roll it once to make two of it but he certainly sit on that and give himself a shot Certainly got the track and he's got the weight. He played this perfectly. I th oh, just not going to fall in. Don't know. It didn't. May have needed to fall in to give him a shot. It's pretty close. Uh, was the shot to Fairfield? So. So Wayne to be. So Wayne picks up a shot 19-11, trying to claw his way back into this match. 16-12 to Andy Bay on the pairs. Still tight in that fours match after 12 ends at 7 all. from Wayne. Well down here, Andrew, well, that's an excellent reply.
another very good ball from Wayne Hewitt. Now will that have to stay on that hand or will he go to the backhand? Please. Just draw it, mate. Stay on that same hand plate as previous ball. Oh, has he got looking to shift Wayne's in? Is he's just going to sneak on by? Oh, well. Don't know if it'll be another shot or not. So uh, it is another shot, so it's... Um, Wayne here has just asked the marker, two down. Still a chance for him there to draw around that, pick up the kitty. Certainly can't go Wade Houses Green. Looks to be pretty well played. Is he going to get? Oh, yes. Okay, so there's a chance for Andrew Smale. He may look to sit on that back bowl of Fairfields. So wait's okay. How's his track? Breaking now towards the head. Oh, he's going to be pull up short. No chance here. So, what's Wayne doing now? He's oh, he's looking to have a run at this, looking for that shot. Oh, is he, oh, he's taking his own out. Oh, yeah. Done without that, but it's no no worse off. He was two down anyway. So, and you may have a chance to draw three. Well, he's not happy with that. He's there's his weight. He was on a good track too. So to is to Andy Bay, so he moves out to a 21-11 lead in the first of 25. Pretty good effort from Wayne. He's on a pretty good track here, Andrew Smale. He's going to put up the kitty, just gives it a flick on the way past.
So shot to Andy Bays. He plays his third ball. Looks to be on a good track. He's going to have to stop and hurry going through that gap. He's got the way he looks to be on a pretty good track. Is he going to draw it in for the shot? I think so, not sure. The shot from here. Uh, just asking the marker who has the shot now. And he will say a measure. Change to the forehand. I'm thinking he'd be looking maybe to try and pick that kitty up or sit that shot bowl. He's on a pretty good track. How's his weight? Oh, well, that's perfect shot, really. He's probably bought another one in as well. So, not what Wayne really does here. He's on his forehand. He's looking if he can pick up that kid. He's certainly got weight. He's having a little OP, but is he on target? He looks not too bad. Oh, oh, well, dear idea. Very good shot, and he goes two down. I mean... Got a perfect bowl there, but he's got the kitty hitting one of the his own bowls and bouncing it back into the path of Andy Bay's two shots. So 23 11 on now. Andrew Smart well within sight of winning this match. See a score on the board over there after 17 ends. It looks like 30, 30 to 11 to Fairfield over one of the Port Chalmers teams. It looks like the Piers. So that's a huge score. Good opener from there. Pretty good reply too from Wayne. We want another three of those there. For Mark Elias Miller to get out of the spray. his own further and set right, where his original one was so no um, done really he'll be looking to 
desert. I'm not sure if that yellow any bay bone. Just want to make a target. Andrew, but he's play. Oh no, he's just come up short. So still just a one shot. is not too badly, Wayne, if he get that kitty off. Oh, oh dear, he's gone through that gap. How close was that? And Andrew has a back ball, but he also has a shot, so he may be looking for another back ball just in case. He's staying that forehand. Pretty well down. He doesn't want to flick that kitty. Oh well, he has, but it's all in his favour. So, unsure if that's now one or two. But two touches. That's excellent. So he may be fat the target for Wayne if he can shut those two balls out of the way and stay there for that shot himself. Was he going to get a front ball? No, he's. Well, so I'm not sure if that's one or two. No, we went down to the dirt. Ah, okay, so it was two to Andy Bay, so it's. Pontecerro Veterans Home has been a part of Dunedin history for 105 years, supporting and caring for men and women who have served New Zealand both at home and overseas. Our philosophy is to promote a home-like lifestyle in a supportive environment, encouraging independence in a safe, comfortable way. Such a sweet girl. dreaming about this music the power of dreams by honda when it's time to say goodbye to your pet heaven sent pet cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience call heaven sent pet cremations today for their care and guidance phone 489-2274 here at Age Concern Otago, we offer a range of services to support Otago seniors to age well with dignity and independence. We provide social work support, visiting service, health promotion and social activities. Check out what we have on offer at ageconcernotago.com. Knox Podiatry is your local foot and lower limb specialist. With clinics across Otago, we can diagnose and treat all conditions, whether it's heel pain, sore feet, fungal, thickened or ingrown nails to corns and callus. We're also able to manufacture our own orthotics from our Mosgill clinic. If your feet need some love, call us now. Why wait for seed to germinate? Why not do it the smart way? For instant results, call Ready Lawn today or for more information, go to readylawn.co.nz. Every day the team at Gillian supports grieving families at their time of need, from answering your questions to organising a farewell that reflects the wishes of your loved one. We can help. Call Gillian's today.
the Sarah Veterans Home has been a part of Dunedin history for 105 years, supporting and caring for men and women who have served New Zealand both at home and overseas. Our philosophy is to promote a home-like lifestyle in a supportive environment, encouraging independence in a safe, comfortable way. Such a sweet girl. What are you dreaming about? This music. Power of Dreams by Honda. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489 2274. Here at Age Concern Otago, we offer a range of services to support Otago seniors to age well with dignity and independence. We provide social work support, visiting service, health promotion and social activities. Check out what we have on offer at ageconcernotago.com. Knox Podiatry is your local foot and lower limb specialist. With clinics across Otago, we can diagnose and treat all conditions, whether it's heel pain, sore feet, fungal, thickened or ingrown nails to corns and callus. We're also able to manufacture our own orthotics from our Mosgill clinic. If your feet need some love, call us now. Why wait for seed to germinate? Why not do it the smart way? For instant results, call Ready Lawn today or for more information, go to readylawn.co.nz. Every day the team at Gillian supports grieving families at their time of need, from answering your questions to organising a farewell that reflects the wishes of your loved one. We can help. Call Gillian's today.